Hey y'all, this is Eliana with Why Not Redesign. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, thank you for being here. I hope that you like the content. Please go ahead and click that subscribe and that like button and don't forget to give me comments. I love comments. This week I am finishing the hope chest that I started for the week that I was doing the spring challenge, um, if you all remember, the dresser that I was doing was giving me all kinds of hard time and I decided at some point that I was going to do something different and I never finished it because I ended up staying with the piece that I was doing that for, for the challenge. So this week I'm going to finish it up. So let's get right into it. So technically this is not day one, this is day two of this because day one you saw me doing everything, all the prep that I was doing. I took a whole, a whole bunch of uh, things off of it uh, that was really dating the piece and I left it um, with wood putty. So this time around I'm coming in, I am sanding all of the wood putty and sanding the piece. This piece is a um, old hope chest or blanket chest that, that, that they call it we call it storage chest now too and basically what i'm doing is i'm going in with my surf prep and an 80 grit paper and i am sanding off the finish on it so that i can then prime it and paint that's what we're gonna do with this i'm gonna go with an extremely simple design for this one very boring in my point of view because that's what sells over here so i'm gonna sell this piece and that's what i'm doing middle of the project Typical me, I decided that I'm going to add an extra one and I'm going to refinish these nice stands that I've had for quite some time. As you can see, someone had attempted to do some sort of finish on them. I think they put a die on them. And the, the good thing is that they are solid wood. So I'm able to basically sand everything. I am going to be using a black color on this. So um, I don't have to sand them bare, but I am sanding as much of all of that mess that was left on these as possible. So just cleaning the piece after I scuff sand everything and really using a brand new product to me. This is Crud Cutter, but it is the Norrins formula and I'm really loving it. As you can see right there, it really helps degloss the pieces also, and um, it's pretty cool. So I definitely recommend it. It is about $10 for that bottle, or at least where I found it near me, and it was very hard to find, but it's a definite thumbs up for me. I'm gonna go ahead and start applying my primer, and for this week's projects, I chose a clear primer from Country Chic. I love it because it's easy to apply and I am actually doing it with a sponge. Country Chic sells the sponge as well and I will make sure that I link all of the products in the description of this video. I'm applying two coats of this primer. If you haven't done so but you are still here with me, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button and of course leave me a comment. This is the third day, I guess, of this project. Um, and I am um, I came in and I am using lacy linen as the color. It's a light gray. Uh, that is what is going on the hope chest. And I am gonna be doing two coats of it, maybe a third one. But this uh, paint has amazing coverage. So if you don't need a third coat, you don't need to apply a third coat. We will see what happens with this one. I'm going into all of the details as well. I'm gonna be doing a silk color. Silk is by Dixie Belle and it's basically an all-in-one. I'm gonna be using the color Anchor, which is the, their blackest black for this. I like to turn the small pieces on their tops and I'm making sure that I get under the skirt and that I apply this everywhere. So let me give you a little secret with silk. Um, basically, you don't want to overwork it. Uh, it is an all-in-one, so basically it has a primer, the paint, and the top coat already included on it. Because it has all of those products in it, you don't want to really brush too much this paint because the top coat that is in it will actually show as being already applied, if you will. 
it is a little finicky but it is an all-in-one so it saves you time and once you learn to apply this it is one of the best paints that you will ever use i would say apply it with a dry brush it doesn't like water very much and if you're going to spray it only use about 10 percent water to mix it in your sprayer it's going to be a little bit thicker but it's definitely going to give you the coverage that it needs and it dries beautifully and it levels beautifully as well i decided to brush it on this time it's going on everything and for this because the the um, wood on this piece was already kind of dark i only needed to do two coats of it to for, for full coverage which was pretty amazing the top on this nightstands, the one was in perfect condition. The second one had a little bit of blemishes. I got, I went ahead and I filled some of them um, with wood putty and I sanded everything and everything looked pretty good. So this is basically the second time that I'm applying uh, another round of, of uh, primer on this because as you can see that big blemish that is over here on the, on the right side was kind of ghosting or at least that's what I call it and um i didn't want to see it so i applied a second round of the uh, wood putty and then sanded that again and i applied two coats of the primer allowed them to dry and then came back to paint it but i'm gonna go ahead and finish putting the paint on both pieces and allowing them to dry at least an hour i like to go an hour hour and a half maybe two hours in between sand them lightly with a 320 or a 400 and then applying the paint so we are at the point of the video where i give you the pro tip of the week this week i want to talk about brushes and their care i love my brushes they're very expensive and i like to keep them well clean i clean them after every single use yes i'm that person and for conditioning them i actually use hair conditioner Yes, you heard me right, hair conditioner. They leave the bristles on them absolutely feeling silky and amazing. All you have to do is just apply it after you wash it, put them in a baggie, leave them on overnight in that little baggie, and then the next morning, come back and rinse them out. And I promise you, they feel smooth and silky and wonderful and brand new and you can just let them out to dry the normal way that you always do but trust me you will thank me later after you do this hope you like that i came back again and sanded all of this stuff again and ready for the second coat so this is day four three three four whatever um this day i'm also using a primer paint combo to spray the hardware for the nightstands the hope chest didn't have any hardware that i need to put on so because i'm going to be selling this and although this has a primer in a top coat already included i still like to give my pieces several coats of primer um, i'm sorry several coats of uh, top coat to make sure that they have perfect coverage and look how beautiful they came out they're perfect i also put some top coat on the hardware and that is just extra protection so here i am coming back to the final details but let me stop right here you see this the thing over there of course that piece was ghosting me i kept seeing just like a little dot that wasn't perfect so typical me i went ahead and i put some uh dixie bell mud on that and i said it should be a quick fix no big deal I'm doing the final details, adding some uh, paper on the drawers as liners, and everything was going great. I'm not an expert on this, but what I can tell you is make your cut a little bit bigger and then trim. It's the easiest way to do it. I am also using Big Mama's Butter on all of the insides and conditioning the drawers any final touches just in case it's needed and that drawer is not going in 
please tell me this is not going to be a problem. Hmm, yeah, it's going to be a problem. I don't know why. I'm trying to think as to what is going on. I'm trying not to think about it too much, but it's bugging me. And you guys know me by now. I will have to figure it out. So I'm asking myself, why isn't it closing? It did before. Why do pieces always give me a hard time? At least the last couple of projects that I've done have been just giving me the biggest headaches. Ugh. I'm gonna go ahead and think about it. I have to sand that piece right there anyway. So let me just go ahead and get it, get it done. Let me sand, sand, sand. So I'm gonna sand it smooth so that the piece fits in there. And for whatever reason, it kind of, I don't know, maybe perhaps the it, it, swole, it got a little swollen with the paint. It is water-based after all, so that could have happened. So I sanded it until it fit again, and that's all we needed to get done. So it was fine. Um, I also touched that up again with uh, paint, and it was all good to go. Then it was time for that little thing right there. So I said, okay, well, just, just do it, no big deal. But it was still ghosting. I don't know why I kept just seeing like a, something, like a little hole. And then I turned around and noticed that the, the uh, top of this piece was bleeding through. So I had to come back and apply some Boss. Boss is a stain blocker from Dixie Bell also. Yes, I use a lot of Dixie Bell products. Um, as the Boss was drying, I wanted to kind of surprise my client, whoever is going to end up being. Plus I have some of those transfers laying around and I wanted to, to just apply one so that when people open the chest, it smells delicious because I'm applying uh, big mama's butter, but also there's a little surprise of some flowers. I think it looks pretty cool. I sealed everything with big mama's butter I applied two more coats of paint Doesn't seem to be bleeding anymore, so I'm happy about that the back had a, a couple of spots as well So I did that as well and came back to this guy and the more I sanded the more I saw the little spot that kept bugging me and the more I sanded the more I saw it and the more I sanded the more I saw it perhaps I need to quit sanding no I went ahead and got my sander and sanded it completely bare and came back and applied applied bondo on it bondo that means I gotta start all over but that's me so that's the end of that day I'm going home and so this is where we are with this pieces for day three the end of it okay for real this is the last day so I came back and I sanded all of that still was seeing something don't know what I was seeing but I was seeing something I went ahead and top coated this um, this one looked fine. I decided that I wanted to do a little distressing on it and then gave it another coat of top coat just to make sure that everything was sealed perfectly. No big deals with this one. The other one is drying because I applied some Bondo filler in the spray. So I'm going to wait. Here I am again back to it. That shadow won't give up, but neither will I. So some mud again and i think that i will have it in the meantime let's go ahead and get started with the staging on the chest because at least that one is ready and no more headaches with this one and just some simple staging will do i think so anyway you guys remember what it looked like before just a simple cedar chest with lots of ugly trim and very very old and here it is now the color is perfect because it's very very neutral 
it's a light gray it will go anywhere I also added some handles on the sides as you can see the distressing gives it a little bit of character and then the inside with the flowers I think it's gonna be a nice surprise for whoever buys this uh, like I said I applied Big, Big Mama's Butter and so when they open it they'll see the flowers and they'll smell that delicious fragrance from Big Mama's Butter and I use Suzanne's Garden for this one back to the nightstand at least I'm going to paint one coat and then the other one is half staged I waited until it dried and I came back and gave it a second coat I applied it all over the top and allowed it to dry you will see here that is finally gone I don't see anything else anymore so now I can move on with life <laughs> yeah that's me crazy I know so here goes the second one. I have not top coated this one, but I will definitely give it three coats of top coat so that they both match the sheen. In the meantime, let's remember what they look like then with a red dye with blemishes. And now they look absolutely gorgeous. Black on black on black with a satin finish that's the satin finish that it will have one this is the, the finish that the Dixie Belle silk gives which is also beautiful matte but I like that additional insurance or assurance I will add it later on next week before they go to my shop to be sold and let's remember again also how the beautiful chest looks now how the surprise flowers look when the people open that that door and how elegant it will be anywhere and these guys they have beautiful liners they are well protected for lots of usage and they look brand new you guys thanks again for being here this week really appreciate you and i will see you again next week bye